In this video we are going to be taking a look at the labels that we can add on to a profile view and the profiles and just the kinds of information we can derive from that and see. Now this is similar to the alignments and how you add align, uh, labels to the alignment. You have to do them in that label adding window and they all come in together kind of as a set. However, looking in our tool space under our settings tab, we have different kinds of labels for your profile. We can make a label set like an alignment to display all the labels we need. We have station labels, major and minor stations, horizontal geometry points. We have grade breaks so we can display where the grade changes. We have line labels and we have curve labels. Under profile views, we have station elevation, we have depth labels, projection labels, and crossing labels. So if there's something crossing from another profile or another uh, alignment, another road, say a pipeline or an electrical line. Now the labels that mainly get displayed on profiles will be your grade labels, your crest and sag labels, any PVIs, any speed changes, and even we can go as far to show the horizontal geometry points on our vertical profile. So you can coordinate between the horizontal and vertical as well. So in order to start adding these labels, I'm going to select my cyan colored design line. We don't want to label these on existing ground. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go into edit labels. So under the drop down again, major stations, minor stations, horizontal geometry points, we're going to add those in. So from the alignment and we'll just select everything. Lines is the next one. So horizontal geometry points and then lines. Now what lines are is actually the grade of the road. So it'll display the percentage. So I'm going to add in those and actually let's make them the same size, two millimeters. If you have one in here, you want to delete, select it and hit the delete button. Then we have grade breaks. So let's add in some grade break labels and we can see what those look like. Crest curves. And finally, sag curves. So we're going to add in the horizontal geometry points. These will be from our alignment. Lines will be the slopes. Grade breaks will be where the grade changes. Crest curves and sag curves. Now these grade break labels may not come in. We'll find out here in a second because we have the crest and sag curves. So here's a grade break label at the beginning. We don't want to have, don't have one in the middle because again, like I said, it's a crest and sag curve. So gray break will give you the station and the elevation. Yes, it's a little bit messy. It's overlapping. But we can move this out to just see what it says. Here's our line label, so 0.74%. And like other options within Civil 3D, reverse label doesn't work, but flip label does. So we can flip it to either side of the line. Here are our sag curve labels does flip la yeah flip label works but it only flips part of it reverse label doesn't work because there's really nothing to reverse so these crest and sag curves they show us our station our elevation our k value the length of vertical curve where the vertical curve starts station and elevation and where the vertical curve ends station and elevation beginning and end and then from our alignment itself, here's our spiral to tangent, here's our curve to spiral. So we have a vertical or a horizontal curve happening along this section of the road. So the curve starts here and it ends here. Again, we have another one, the curve starts here. We have a hill, the curve ends here. Now this is something you might want to try to avoid if your grades are really steep is having a vertical curve on the same section of road as a horizontal curve. So when we have to coordinate the horizontal and the vertical, this is what I mean is we have to look at where the curves are in relation to each other. Here's a crest curve. I think we looked at a side curve before. So station elevation, K value, vertical curve, where it starts, where it ends. And that was what we have for the labels that we added to this profile on the profile itself. Now, if we take a look at the profile view labels, so we can do it through the ribbon here, or you could do it through general 
add labels to bring up every labeling option within Civil 3D. We'll find Profile View. We can run a station elevation. So let's add a station elevation label. I'm going to select the profile view. And say we have a pipeline running through right here. So we can put a station and then we'll say the elevation right there. So I just have these set for a simple elevation label. However, we can go inside of the label style and just take a look at the options. Station and elevation, profile names, profile elevations, descriptions, start station, end station. So a lot of information we can pull out. We can show the elevation, we can show the station, but right now, again, I just have it set for something simple. A depth label. So again, choose the profile you want to add it to. And say we have it there. Oh, a depth. So start there and go to there. So this will show a difference between two objects. So say we want to know the depth between our design and our existing right here. So design to existing. So that's 11.723 meters difference. And if you go up, it's probably going to give you a positive number as well. So from here to here, yeah, 10.73 meters. And then projection labels. Which I do, yeah, I don't, I've never used a projection label, so we have to project an object to this profile in order to view it. So again, that was just running through some of the quick labeling options that we have on a profile. Take a look under the general add labels just to see everything we can add. Profile view, we don't have actual profile in here because that we have to add them through that other window. Same with alignment, so edit labels. The alignments is the same way, edit labels. If we take a look under some of these, again, just go exploring. Go see the different options you can add. There is a, there's a large amount of information that Civil 3D can pull from what seems like simple little objects. Stations, elevations, sight distances, passing distances, grades in, grades out, a, a large amount of information that you can look up. So that was, again, adding labels to a profile view and to a profile itself.